What's up, my PT peeps? One Eye Bri back to talk about The Walking Dead and Season 8 filming update. Spoiler warning if you don't want to know where they're going to be filming because it'll highlight some of the storyline and I don't want to ruin anything for you. But we got where they'll be filming most likely this week, the second week of May. Still filming episode 801. It's going to take probably 7 to 10 days, if not more. Maybe they got delayed or something with bad weather. But it looks to be they're going to be at the studio, which will probably be Sanctuary filming for 801, which if you know the comics, that makes sense. But from the spoiling dead fans we got some great news and pictures and here we go so this week's filming is a lot of question marks but today monday studio possibly sanctuary nine and ten not sure friday not sure as well but on thursday they'll be out and about somewhere in griffin state alley west bank street possibly also over solomon and fourth street so they got some pics of that so if you want to get out there and start checking out some pictures it's great or some filming there we go and then here's just continuation of that so to be at the studio Several days of this week seems that they're going to be doing a lot of probably sanctuary filming. I mean, it could be Hilltop because Rally Studios has the Hilltop set and the sanctuary set. And it's probably going to be, you know, they're filming because 801 should pick up right where the comics left off, where Rick and the gang go to the sanctuary to confront Negan. And here's a great picture of Daniel Newman's social media. If you haven't followed him, definitely give him a follow. He's a pretty cool guy online. There he is with Rick Grimes and the guy from Hilltop. Look behind them. You see the bars, you see the grates, you see the walls, you see that. Where do they look like they're at? The sanctuary is what I'm guessing. And that was posted Friday last week over the weekend. So last week they were probably started the filming of the sanctuary at 801 and they're probably gonna continue that too. So he's there, Hilltop, the kingdom and Rick are all together. And that's where they go in the story of that, where they go there. And it should be an awesome epic scene, 801, when uh, Rick and them confront them at the sanctuary. Gregory said that he filmed this first scene in 801, well, it was Xander Berkeley, And this was on Friday. And remember the last time we saw Gregory, he was talking to Cal to take a trip somewhere, most likely the sanctuary, and that should be where it picks up. So here's the map where the filming could be around this week and Griffin on there through the Spoiling Dead fans. And they do a great job if you don't follow them on Facebook and online and everything. Definitely do that because they do a great job. And there's the star marks and you see the locations of where they could possibly be filming and everything. And there's a good downward shot of that. So around the church for some reason, and we don't know why they're filming here or what they could be on Thursday. Most likely it could be something to do with a pass through or assembling things or or they run into walkers or something but here is an awesome flyer that they get around the businesses of the area of the Sonoy and griffin and wherever they're filming you can see that they tell you they're going to block off roads and do you know some filming and from these times and this dates and whatever so they're going to be doing that and that's pretty cool to see that firsthand but here's the other pictures that are going around from the spoiling dead fans of do not mow signs and where they could be going down the street and we don't have any cast or, or crew or, or anything like that but it's cool to see the sets the filming the locations that they're going to possibly be using and we don't know how it is exactly they bring in trash and debris and cars and you know set pieces and stuff that they go and put stuff down and they transform the whole area they paint certain areas or whatever so if you know griffin or hampton and all the different areas definitely be out and about not this week too much because they're going to be filming at the studio a lot but if you know where that church is or if you know where these locations are definitely give a shot or a drive by or something there too to see if you could see something they film you know during the week monday through friday eight to five or whatever sometimes they go later they have night shoots they have overtime they do that but they try to keep things pretty set for the budget and everything but stuff happens and weather happens and i don't know what the weather's like in georgia right now but they had some bad weather last week so they could be behind schedule they might be on schedule we just don't know but it's a they take about seven to ten days typically for an episode don't know if it's going to be longer for 801 episode 100 it's a big deal so it could be a little longer hopefully it's an hour and a half episode i really hope it's super long Here's just some other shots that don't know what they're doing here. If they're setting things up or they're pushing traffic through or something. I don't know what the lady's in a flashy green jumper there. But, you know, the different stuff here with the cars, they're setting things up. They're going through. Don't know if they're going to be using that, you know, walkway or area there. But I don't know, man. It's pretty cool. I would love to be there to see the filming and to see what's going on and what it's like. I wonder what it's like. If you have gone, let me know. Post your comments below. And you can see they're setting stuff up there. And that's what they do. They send out their crew people and their 
area location people and they set it all up and they scout the area and they prep the area and they do everything to do that and directors are usually hands-on to see where it's at and you know they're kind of setting things up where they can put explosives or cars or fires or this or that whatever the scene's going to include and they do a really good job and it's pretty cool to see the behind the scenes things they got different videos on youtube to check those out and i always like to see those and it's some of these areas are like man this is is built for a zombie apocalypse so the sets and the locations they might have to, have to do too much for them and it's always great for the show so last night well sunday was the mtv movie awards and did you see who won best villain negan Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I can't remember who he was going against, and it's an MTV Movie Award. Who really cares, right? But he won, and that's kind of cool to see The Walking Dead win some awards. They don't win too many awards, but if they win fan favorite stuff like that, that's kind of all that matters. But it begs the question, is he the best villain? Is he the worst villain? Is he the greatest villain of The Walking Dead? I'm going to make a video about it. I want to hear your thoughts about it as well. Um, check out my book on Amazon. It's on Barnes & Noble. It's on a bunch of other different retailers as well. It's available now, and it's on sale. Hit me up on Instagram at the PT channel, and we always like to have followers and post different pictures every day. Have a Patreon page, and it's definitely up and about, and I'm not trying to ask for big donations. Anything will help just for the ad revenue fiasco with YouTube that's going on right now, too. This will really help you know our channel grow and continue on because it's tough right now. Check out the Walking Dead community page on Facebook. All are welcome. If you like this channel, you like the group. If you do like this channel, hit that subscribe button today, guys. You guys are awesome. Let me know what you think of the filming. If you're going to be out and about, Jeffrey Dean Morgan win Best Villain and all that good stuff. And as always,